Next time we go to our off-grid property in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, we'll be taking two very large, stubborn dogs with us. Our dogs like to roam. We'd like to be able to find them when it's time to return to Washington. Our solution is an electric fence. We use a hot wire at the top of our current fence. Both dogs have tested the wire and discovered they didn't like it much. They don't often tempt fate. Now we could purchase a roll of horse fencing, a bunch of tee posts, and another expensive gate, but we've decided to go a much less expensive route. As I said, my boys do not tempt fate very often, so we've decided to create for them a three-strand electric wire fence. They'll still go into their kennel at night for security, but the electric fence will give them space to play during the day, and it will cost a lot less than a roll of purchased fence. All we need is some braided wire, two T-posts, our solar-powered fence energizer, some grounding rods, and plenty of insulators. I'll try to make a video later showing how we set up that electric fence. I've done lots of research and learned a little bit about electricity in college. Probably enough to hurt myself. But today, we're going to save some money by making our own insulators. An insulator is an object that does not conduct electricity that allows us to attach the electric wire to another object. Store-bought insulators come in bags of 25 and run about 50 cents each. We can make our own using a 10-foot stick of PVC pipe from a big box store. Those will run about 20 cents each. Here's how we did it. I'm a chicken when it comes to power tools, so my husband used his dad's table saw to run a cut down the entire length of our pipe. We didn't get video of that because we didn't have a tool to push the pipe with. I didn't want to show that on YouTube and give anyone unsafe ideas. After that cut was made, we got out the electric miter saw. I'm not so afraid of that one, so I set the angle at 45 degrees. I made a single cut, rotated the pipe, and made another cut. This created the beveled shape that you see here. Time was running short that day, so we completed the job at home on Dad's old drill press. It was a simple matter of drilling holes in each end. We can now attach the fence wire to our trees, and we'll only have to drive two T-posts into our very rocky ground. You know, one of the basic ideas behind homesteading is being frugal. It's really not necessary to have the best of everything. Sometimes it's better to go cheap, especially when you're talking about something as disposable as electric fence insulators. The store-bought kind will take a beating in our cold Michigan winters and will become brittle and will easily break. The ones we made will break too, but will be cheaper to replace. DIY makes sense in this case. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to see more. I'll try to get a video out soon showing how we set up the electric fence for our dogs. Thanks for watching and God bless.